Hello everyone, this is Brenniger. Wanted to give an update on my live cultures. These are black worms. Now, I moved the black worm culture and separated it into these four jars. And for a time, I did a water change in one jar each day. But I found that that is insufficient. When a culture begins to go bad, the worms start climbing up the sides of the glass trying to escape. Now they're unable to escape these jars, but if nothing is done immediately, the culture will go bad and all the worms will die. So what I've been doing for the past couple weeks is changing the water. That's a 100% water change in two of the four jars each day. And that seems to be working pretty well. I've also been using this strainer to dump all the worms with the substrate into it and then rinse them out briefly under cold water in the sink and then replace all their water with used aquarium water and I found that this works very well doesn't seem to do them any harm and for the winter I have my Daphnia in two, four, six, eight, ten separate jars so if anyone gets completely taken over by blackbeard algae, string algae whatever this stuff is then I can just trash the culture and start over then in the springtime I can begin culturing green water in the backyard and this year I hope to put something over the, the green water cultures to prevent mosquitoes from breeding in that down here I have my fruit fly culture in this toy plastic aquarium. It's difficult to remove one handed, so let me see here. There. So I date all the cultures and I've put thermometers all around so that I can monitor that. And I just keep them in this box with a reptile night light on them 24-7. Keep them warm and no problem at all with that the media that I use from, Bi from Carolina Biological Supply has a mold inhibitor so none of the cultures are taken over by mold and that makes a great food now I resumed using this as a grow out tank so I just have a couple pieces of driftwood there in front of the heater and two filters with nothing over the intake but I don't seem to suck up any fry once the Colombian Tetra are good and free swimming they don't seem to have a problem getting sucked up in that so those are the better sized ones there's some smaller ones in there so I have removed all of my guppies to other tanks and resumed using this as a grow out tank because this tank will be my fry starter tank and Currently there's nothing in there but a few decorations 
but I have the heater going and this is just some leftover water from the grow out juveniles because I plan on doing a water change shortly and I want this tank ready to take all of the all of the water from that water change along with the detritus to save as many fry as I can so that's my update on my cultures and what I'm doing with fry thank you for watching I'll see you real soon on the next one